Hi everybody, Ken Webster here. We're going to do some uh, NorCal Black 13 core exercise demonstrations. The first one Lane's going to demonstrate is the plank. Everybody pretty much knows this one, but go ahead, up. So elbows on the ground, hands together, toes pointed straight and butt in line with the back, just like that. Good. The next core exercise is the side plank. Notice Lane's arm position, feet together. She goes up and nice triangular position. Okay, next we're going to demonstrate the opposite arm leg extensions. Uh, these are kind of like raised up Supermans, and we'll we will uh, put out the times and the reps and everything that we want you guys to do in all these core exercises separately. This is just what they're supposed to look like. Okay, Lane, would you extend out one leg and one arm? Okay, leg down, right there. Point your toe, hands extended. Okay, come back to the center. Take a rest, five to 10 seconds rest, depending on what we dish out. Then you reach out with your other arm at the same time as your other leg. Point it good, leg down, down. Down, right there. All in line. It's harder that way. Okay, bring it back in. There you go. Good job. Okay, the next one is going to be rotational lunges. We're going to start out with just body weight, so you can just use a volleyball to get used to this or any other ball. And then as we progress, we might add, we'll probably add some weight. Um, this is a, a lunge with some twisting and then stepping back up over and over. As you're doing this, you want to engage your core, your stomach. Keep your back straight. Really feel this in your core. So, Lane, go ahead with the first move. So that's left foot out, 90 degrees, and then you rotate, point both directions, back to the middle, step back up. Then with the other foot, you go back out, rotate the other way, all the way around, slowly and controlled, and then step back up. That looks pretty good. Drop the ball down. Ready for the next one. Get ready. Okay. And again, we'll tell you how many reps. We'll start off slow, and then we'll build up. Okay, we're live, Lane. Next, <laughs> next exercise we're going to show is is push up, and we're going to stress the push up is form and position and execution. So quality, not quantity. If you can't do very many, that's okay. You want to do them the right way. So kind of like a plank position, like starting up, upwards plank. up, upwards plank. Keep your body straight as you can in a, in a nice straight line head level and then go ahead and go down and then back up down dip farther if you can there you go that's a great one nice and slow I'm yeah you might only get one more down and up and we'll just do these for time for like 30 seconds or 40 seconds and not counting the numbers of reps okay next is gonna be the scissors leg sit-ups or extended leg sit-ups a lot of different names for this exercise pretty hard Try to get your, you're going to get your legs up into like a number two position. And then as you pull a leg up towards your head, you're going to do a sit up and touch the ball to your foot. Uh, Lane will show you how to do it here. So let's get him up. So you go right foot, sit up, back to position, left, back to position, right, back to position, left. Okay, good. <laughs> That's a tough one. And again, we'll just do a little bit of time on this and then extend the time as you guys get better. And then we'll also increase the weight on the ball uh, or object that you use to do your sit-up as we progress. Okay, next one is the side lunge. Again, really focus on engaging your core, hands on your hips, and copy the lane. <laughs> side to side I'm movement. Keep this straight. Yeah, you keep your you keep your upper leg, your inside leg straight, and your outside leg, you take a big step, and then you drive off the heel back up. Good. Slow and controlled. That wasn't very hard. <laughs> and we'll all get better at it as we keep doing a lot more. Good. Okay. <laughs> One more. All right. Okay. Next is... Ball touch crunches? I don't know what you call these. Um, ball touch sit-ups? Ball touch sit-ups. Okay. Show us how it's done. You balance on your butt 
we did these last year, but yep. yeah, so you balance on your butt and you keep your feet close to the ground without actually c touching the ground, and then you keep your back at like a forty-five degree angle. Yeah, forty-five degree. So then, what you're gonna do? You're gonna turn your core, and you're gonna touch the ball on each side. You we'll probably start this with just the volleyball, but you can get heavier as you okay. progress. You do that for time? Um, or just um, in a mount. Uh -huh. They're not that hard, but they're good on the core. Okay. Thank you for showing those uh, touch crunches. <laughs> touch crunches. <laughs> so we finished all the uh, core strength videos that we want to do, and now we're going to start working on the jump, jumping strength uh, just four exercises to increase jumping strength that we want to work into the routine. The first is a calf raise. Repeats for time. You simply just stand on level ground and, oh no, no, just so calf raises. Is, no. You just stand up on your toes. Oh, yeah. Back down. Nice and slow. Full extension up to your toe, up on your toes. Okay, Stretch here. out your calves. Come back down. We'll do repeats of those. The progression for this is we'll have you stand on a uh, half a foam roller or some other stable raised uh, yeah. spot so that you can actually start with your toes up above your heels when you do your calf raises, okay? The next exercise for the jumping strength is going to be wall sits for a period of time. So <laughs> how do we do these, Lane? I don't know how to. I know. Just let's go. We don't want people to watch hours worth of video. Legs at a 90 degree angle. 90 degree angle. And don't put your hands on your knees. Because then you'll be like... Is that 90 degrees? It looks a little high. They're a little lower. Brutal. There you go. Good 90 degree angle. And you hold that position. You breathe. You engage your core. And you focus on your glutes oh, and your so hamstrings. Okay, the next one is single leg dips. And this one takes some practice and some balance. You, so you probably want to do this next to a wall um, or a chair or something so you can grab on if you lose your balance. And you'll get, we'll get better at this. So what we're doing here is we're going to be extending with both the left and right leg at the same time, back at kind of a 45 degree angle. And then in a controlled way, we're going to dip down the extended knee, hold it for three seconds, and then slowly extend back up. Then you come back to center position, stand up, and then you switch arm and leg, and you slowly get in position. It's a controlled exercise. You engage your glutes and your hamstring and your back. Try to stay balanced and in line. Oh. It's hard, yeah. Remember, always same arm, same leg out. Opposite leg is doing the dipping. And this is really great for the hip flexors and isolates those... Uh, isolates the outside of your leg, which is this area that a lot of people don't strengthen. So this is really good for vertical. Okay. Okay. Now he's going to show us our last jump strength exercise, which is maximum jumps. And uh, before, you know, while you're going down to this squat position, she'll show you want to really focus on engaging your quads and your hamstrings and your glutes and your, and uh, then fire all those off with a big burst of energy up. Sadie's gonna like this one. <laughs> okay. Feet pretty pretty much set apart. Just go up, yeah. All right, squat down a little farther, engage and explode up. Here you go. I'm looking for more of a violent jump. Like everything you got, go. There you go. <laughs> That's better. Now the key here is we're not doing these fast. In between each jump, we're taking a lot of time to rest and fully recover. Again, quality, not quantity. So we may only have, we may only subscribe eight or ten jumps, but you want to take a lot of time in between each jump to get your body fully recovered. Okay, the core workout's over. Now we're going to do some stretching and warm down. Lane's going to demonstrate the five key stretches that we want to do. So the first one is nice and relaxed. And for each of these stretches, we want to hold the stretch for about ten seconds. Release it, breathe, relax, switch legs, and do do it for 10 seconds. And you want to do three to four reps for each stretch. So the first is the knee to knee to chest, where you just bring your knee and draw it towards your chest. Keep breathing while you hold it. 
try to increase the stretch on it slowly and then release it. That's okay. <laughs> then obviously you just pull up the other leg. Another 10 second hold for that one. We're speeding things up here, so back down. Next one is the um, ankle to knee stretch. where You kind of create a chair position. So you put your one knee over, one ankle so, over the knee. Put this up? No, you had it right. You and had it. I'm just putting this up and then take it. However you, can, however you get there, it doesn't matter. Me, but you put your hands behind your knee. That's the key. And then you pull that towards your head a little bit and feel that in your... Don't go too much. Yep. Okay. <laughs> then you switch legs on that. There you go. 90 degree angle, nice and relax, just stretch that out. Okay, okay then you can lay on your side and do um, your quad stretches. It's easy, it doesn't put stress on the rest of your body. Try to keep your body in a straight line from head to toe, and then grab uh, grab your heel, take it to your bottom, your butt. Okay? Oh, gosh. <laughs> then you roll over after 10, hold, do a few repeats on those, three to four. Roll over to the other side, keeping your head aligned. Lane's starting to lose it here. <laughs> Keep it together. Okay, that's number three. The fourth stretch is called the piriformis stretch. This is where you end up on your belly. Actually, tuck your leg underneath you. Be careful with this one. You put your knee, you don't want to hurt your knee here. You put your leg underneath and you slowly lower yourself down. You should be able to get flat as time progresses. This really stretches out uh, tough areas to get on your glutes and your hamstrings. Okay, let's show the other side. Try to keep your back straight and flat on top of the leg. And again, don't go down all the way if you don't feel comfortable. Just lower that down very gently to a nice stretch position. And don't worry about how much flexibility you have on this. And then when you're releasing this position, it's, a, it's careful. It's important to sort of roll to your side and other side so that you don't hurt your knee <laughs> yes let's try that again and I was like, that doesn't seem very so safe. you put it under you when you're in this position your knees vulnerable right so roll off that way and that will take pressure <laughs> off like your knee very, very important so where you um, you got your legs crossed over you're sitting you sit oh. and you cross over is the final fifth yeah, stretch you, you guys should know this one yeah you just take this and you put it over a lot of times, like, people make the mistake of going like this. Uh-huh. But you actually want to go on the side the leg is coming. Okay. So it's like this. I see. And anytime you're twisting your back, you want to move slow and steady and not be herky-jerky about it yeah. so you don't it hurt your back. Out right here. Yeah. No. Those are great ones. That, along with the piriformis stretch, is really good for the vertical stuff. Okay. Thank you, Lane. That's all our videos. If you guys have any questions, of course, just let us know. See ya. Yeah, happy Say Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. Woo. Thanks, Lane.